Uh, well, I couldn't tell you for sure. I've had geologists here, and, and um, they say there's such a wide range of minerals, metals, and that there without a scientific analysis. Um, it's very difficult. What we're looking for, we concentrate on gold. <laughs> now, once you got it down uh, there, the next stage of the operation is washing, and you just tip it over a wee bit further under the water and lift it out. Now, see when we lift it out, we're just losing that wee bit of material over the over the edge. And once again, see those larger stones come to the surface. So give them a quick wash and just get rid of them. That uh, we go sideways. That's so once you get down to this point, it's sort of easier. And wash again. That's all there is to it. Got to remember though, these guys were doing this 8 to 10 hours a day, Chinese 10 to 12 hours a day. Freezing gold conditions, uh, that uh, river down there is fed by snow-capped mountains, so freezing cold water, and down to minus 15 in the um, winter and uh, up to plus 40, if we can get plus 40 in here in the summer. So, as I said, once you get down to this point, I'm just using the water action just to wash that lighter stuff off. So you can see the why we were so popular around the world. You imagine this was the gold.